Coronation Street legend Simon Gregson took up self-defense classes after his wife, Emma Gleave, was left with a broken nose following a horrendous attack by a cruel thug. Simon Gregson, who has played Steve McDonald in Coronation Street since 1989, took up self-defense classes after his wife of 13 years, Emma Gleave, was the victim of a shock attack which left her nose broken. Emma, 39, was reportedly punched in the face in 2019 after defending her brother, who has learning difficulties from cruel yobs who were goading him. According to The Sun, Emma tried to stop them before being hit and was taken to hospital. A source told the publication at the time, Emma has always been hugely protective of her brother. The two of them had done nothing wrong when this awful man started goading him. Emma wasn't prepared to let that happen and tried to defuse the situation, but the next second she was punched in the face and left in a lot of pain with a bloody nose. Simon was furious. If he got his hands on this bloke, God knows what would happen, but his first concern is for Emma. One week later, Simon, 49, shared that he had taken up martial arts in a bid to prepare himself for dangerous situations. He told the Daily Star, I started with the martial arts. It's a bit hard as I'm old-ish and fat, but it's worth it. The publication added that the classes were believed to be held near Simon's home in Cheshire. Simon and former Holyoke star Emma married in 2010 and share three children, Alfie, 16, Henry, 13, and Henry, 6. The couple previously revealed that they had suffered 12 miscarriages and an ectopic pregnancy, which left Emma needing emergency surgery to save her life. Simon told OK. Magazine in 2018, they told me Emma would have died if it had been left for a few more hours. She was literally two hours away from death. Even though Emma desperately wanted a daughter, the couple made the difficult decision not to try for any more children. She added to the publication, Every time I found out I was pregnant, I never felt joyous. I would just fear the worst. I don't think my mind or body could do it anymore.